the old man in the sea. Alfred C. Glassell Jr. has held an unbelievable record that stood for over six decades. He certainly earned the catch when in August of 1953, he managed to reel in a 14 foot seven inch female black marlin that had a humongous girth of 1,560 pounds off the coast of Cabo Blanco, Peru. Man and beast struggled for nearly two hours, connected only by five pound mackerel bait and line. The intense struggle is the stuff of legend among big game anglers. According to Glassell, the fish leapt out of the water no less than 49 times before it was boated. It would be named shortly after, and remains to this day, the largest bony fish ever successfully caught on rod and reel. Jaws. Alfred Dean is known as one of the toughest men to ever walk the planet. This reputation is well earned as he's made a living trying to reel in ferocious sharks, some of which weighed over a ton out of the ocean. His greatest confirmed accomplishment as it pertains to the topic came on April 21, 1959, when he somehow managed to catch and boat a 2,664-pound great white shark off of Australia's southern coast. He was able to catch the creature in under an hour and with the use of just a 130-pound line. Dean himself would often tell a story about an even bigger fish. He claimed to have seen a great white he estimated to be 4,000 pounds and over 20 feet long. He hooked it once, but it escaped after an hour-long struggle. While he says he saw it several times, he was never again able to hook it, according to his story. Now back then, doing all of this was perfectly legal. Today, though, it's an entirely different story. The creatures are considered a vulnerable species and can only be caught as long as they are kept in the water and released. Today, the great whites are tagged with tracking devices to learn more about them and then to let go. But despite all of this, they are still hunted animals. Big fish. Now here's another record-breaking catch that has so far stood the test of time. On April 26, 1979, fisherman Ken Frazier caught a 1,496-pound Atlantic bluefin tuna. When it was weighed and officially recorded, it became the largest of its species ever documented, a title it holds to this very day. Where we caught the huge specimen was no surprise. He was fishing in Olds Cove, Nova Scotia, an area in Canada well known for its large fish. Now as big as they get, the Atlantic bluefin tuna are also one of the fastest creatures in the water, reaching speeds that can exceed 40 miles per hour. They've been a valuable fish for thousands of years. Ancient cultures like the Greeks and Phoenicians sought them for their commercial viability. The human palate seeks tuna more than ever today, a fatal desire for the fish. They have been overfished to near extinction with their numbers plummeting around the world in the last 40 years. Despite this alarming trend, shady politics has prevented any real protection for the species. This terrible the combination means that Ken Frazier's 1979 catch could one day become a permanent record. A fish called Wahoo. 15-year-old Sarah Haywood was on a family vacation in Cabo San Lucas during the summer of 2005. Now, she was probably enjoying the trip, though who knows, as we've noticed, she was a teenage girl. Either way, she was with her dad one morning deep sea fishing on the Sea of Cortez. The fish were biting, and they made several catches with the boat's captain and deckhand helping out. But as noon approached and the foursome began to think about lunch, Sarah's reel suddenly screamed to life, and clearly something massive was on the other end. After a struggle that lasted nearly an hour, she got a catch beside the boat. Once everyone got a look at it, they just freaked out. The deckhand recognized it as a wahoo and could not believe its size, reckoning it was the biggest he had ever seen. It took everyone on board to get the fish onto the vessel. Though Sarah and her dad wanted to throw the fish back into the sea, the other two knew what an extraordinary specimen they had on the hands. The fish weighed in at 184 pounds, shattering the record for largest wahoo ever caught. And that record stands to this day. Man's favorite sport, the largest white sturgeon ever recorded, was one that was caught in July of 1983 that weighed a whopping 468 pounds. Maximum size limits enacted a decade later makes keeping such behemoths illegal, so the record has stood for the last three plus decades and will last as long as those limits are in place. Plenty of sturgeon have been caught that have surely been larger, but they haven't been weighed, so they are not officially recognized. One was caught by fishermen in July of 2012 that was estimated to be at least 1,000 pounds and measured over 12 feet long. It was released shortly after it was caught in an area where a lot of big sturgeon are found, that being the Fraser River.
gone fishing. One particularly stoked angler made the catch of a lifetime off the British shores in July of 2014 while he was gone fishing. Though the creature was a common skate fish, its dimensions were anything but usual. It weighed over 200 pounds more even than the country's biggest heavyweight boxes. The man smiling in the picture is Daniel Bennett. Now he, along with his crew, spent two hours struggling with the massive ocean creature before finally reeling it in once and for all. It would have shattered the record for the largest fish ever caught off the British shores, a mark that's held by a 159-pound skatefish caught in 1994. Skatefish, however, are a protected species, so Bennett was legally obliged to throw the beast back into the sea before official measurements could take place. Though they usually reside in deeper waters, skatefish can also be found in shallow waters and are dispersed in oceans around the world. The Perfect Storm George Perry claimed one of the most famous catches in fishing history way back in 1932 without even realizing it. He was fishing on Lake Montgomery in South Georgia when he pulled a huge largemouth bass out of the water. Now he was stoked, and remember he was living in the early 1930s America, a country that was in the midst of the Great Depression. He wasn't even thinking about a record, just the fact that he had a large piece of food that he could bring home for his family to share. Besides, no one kept records like that in those days, but still his fish was huge, so he got it weighed at the post office on his way home. It came out to 22 pounds and 4 ounces. Though the young man didn't realize it at the time, that recorded weight would become a seemingly unbreakable record once they were officially kept. The sport of fishing would blow up in popularity, and his unlikely record-breaking story would become legendary in the community. Fishermen would spend their entire lives trying to break the record and find themselves defeated by Father Time. Well, finally in 2009, a Japanese fisherman named Manabu Kurita matched Perry's historic feat. He pulled a large mouth bass out of Japan's Lake Biwa that weighed one ounce more. Because they are separated by so little weight, the two are considered tied in the record books. People had a hard time believing the catch was legitimate. The International Game Fish Association, the official record keepers, would subject Kurita to several rounds of questioning, even making him undergo a polygraph test. Well, apparently everything came out clean because after six months, he was finally named co-owner of one of fishing's most revered records. Deep Blue Sea. Greenland sharks are fascinating creatures. They inhabit the deep sea and live for hundreds of years. They are also massive, with reports of the beast weighing up to some 3,000 pounds. With some concern about the population long term, they are protected from commercial hunts and can only be sought out recreationally with rod and reel. Joel Abramson was well aware of this when he went fishing on his kayak in September of 2014. He also knew that the record for heaviest kayak caught fish was only 500 pounds, which is why he had brought a along a support team in the form of a boat of marine scientists and a camera crew. He planned on shattering that kayak catch record and wanted to make sure it was documented properly. Using eight pound coalfish bait and really long line, along with a good amount of patience, he finally made a catch after several hours. The struggle was great and almost caused the man to be thrown overboard. Finally though, he pulled the shark up to the surface and passed it to the awaiting science crew. After measuring its length, which was 202 centimeters, they determined the catch weighed a staggering 1,247 pounds, nearly tripling the old record. They also surmised that the shark was over 200 years old. The process was totally legal because they released the shark without harming it or bringing it out of the water in a short amount of time. Swordfish. Lou Marin was able to reel in a massive 1,182-pound swordfish off the coast of Chile's Iquique in 1953. It holds the record for the largest swordfish ever caught. He would travel the world in search of big fish with his wife, Igeni. Igeni holds the record for the largest swordfish ever caught by a woman when she was able to reel in a 722-pound swordfish in 1954. Salmon fishing in the Yemen. How big do you think salmon can get? Typically, they're pretty small fish, so what, 50, maybe 60 pounds maybe? That a good guess? Well, an angler by dawn and an auto salesman the rest of the time, Les Anderson, using rod and reel, 
pulled a 97-pound, 4-ounce king salmon out of the water on May 17, 1985, a world record catch that still stands to this very day. He struggled for an hour before finally muscling the fish into his boat. Anderson made the record-setting catch in a place famous for being part of the Alaska salmon stream, the Kenai River. Anderson became a living legend until his passing in 2003.